he has seen more films than I think anyone else I know. Some people's hobby was collecting stamps, mine was collecting movies. The big challenge for me was to fit in everything I really wanted. And I had a, I had a list of films we have to have in this. Not all of them made it, I have to say. And we had some lively arguments about that. I can understand why. I mean, that you can't put everything in. When I started championing Australian cinema, I didn't realise it would be the turning point of my life. I've never seen a film before it, it, where uh, film practitioners talk about other films. Usually they're talking about their own films. And I, I think that's lovely. I, I really enjoyed all that aspect of it. When I saw it for the first time, I was amazed how moving it was. How long have you been in Australia, mate? The sequence from Muriel's Wedding, for example, where Jeannie Dryden talks about how Tony Collette would walk past her and not even look at her. And, and the way Jeannie told that story, and the when, when, you, when it was visualised on screen, I found that incredibly moving. And I've seen Muriel's Wedding umpteen times, but I don't think I've ever been quite so moved by that moment in it. So now, when I go and see it again, I'm sure it'll have a whole different meaning for me. I feel a deep affection for Australian films. They are, in a way, the movies that made me. What I very much hope they take away is a desire to revisit, or sometimes actually visit for the first time, these films.